Hey, welcome to my crib. It's apartment 5H. It's the Gwen and Guard DJ self. And um, I decided to call some of my partners here. Uh, first, I called my partner, Superstar J. What's going um, on, brother? What's up, man? Like, like a lot of times, um, Superstar J, he does things for the community. And, and one of the biggest things that I could note and, and say that he does for the community, um, especially in New York City, in Queens, New York, every year he does a, a annual uh, DJs versus promoter uh, basketball event. And you get um, like all the DJs from New York City, the biggest ones, you know, and then yeah. you get the biggest promoters from New York City to play against each other, basketball against each and other. You play, we play pretty good for the first three years. He said pretty good. That when somebody <laughs> say pretty good, that means you didn't really do a good job. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give him his flowers because we did it. Well, how long we did that stuff for? Like fifteen years now. Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. We said so I don't want to say. What part of Queens is that? What, what Queens that's is it, that? That's on the north side of Queens. North side of Queens. What's the name of the park? It's called um, Jamaica Park. Jamaica Park. We started okay. at O'Connell Park, uh -huh. and then that's originally where I'm from, O'Connell, but we went to Jamaica because it was bigger. I remember... q Burrow yeah. Classic, that's what we call it. q Burrow Classic, I remember... Um, Shout out to Love De Niro, too, that was... One day you had uh, um, the Amazing DeWitt on the set. Wow. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. With the, amazing DeWitt still does the speakers with the... Uh, he still hooks speakers yeah. up with the wires. So, so DeWitt is like... Um, uh, 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 a staple legend in Queens. Lost Boys, right? Lost Boys. Yeah, I, I heard his name a couple of times on um, on a Lost Boys um, song and, and things like that. And I know Superstar J from playing basketball. Yeah, I was I was I right too. I wasn't good as Lenny. I was nice uh, though. Okay. Nah, actually, I can say I was nice because Lenny. I'm older than Lenny, so I can say I, I played for Jack. I don't know what Jack. Is. I don't know that. Andrew Jackson. Oh, okay, that's In a Queens. school. So I don't know too much about basketball, right? So yeah, that's why um, you brought me. Yeah, right. So I told you to come through, right? <laughs> yeah. So um, then you know I, I started hanging out a little bit with, with Lenny cooking, and as a, a kid, right? Yeah. And I remember hearing. Um, well, Lenny Cook's here. First off, what's up, yeah, kid? Man, appreciate you. You know man. what I'm saying? Appreciate Chilling. You. Yo, right. salute, appreciate man, to Lenny Cook. This is my <laughs> yo, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'm gonna tell him a story, right? I don't want to take it over there. No, go ahead, go ahead. We all here. We here. I, I'm, a, I'm his little brother right yeah, now. Yeah. Just probably just go around, start taking over shit. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, just don't worry about him. Yeah. But um, I heard about Lenny Cook from ISA. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I was coming. I was I was in college, and they was talking about this this kid. It was like, yo, he's the next one. I seen him, and when you get busy at eight, he'll tell you you get that. That's when you get busy. Yeah. You know what ISA is? I, I that's that in school or something like that, right? Yeah, well. It's, it's, all right, so let me say, I don't know right. too much about sports. I'm not a sports guy. Nah, I, I was always the guy. I was the DJ at the sports events. Yeah. So I was never a sports guy. But I was the one that was playing, DJing all the, like the um the playground uh, events and stuff like that. And I do remember hearing Lenny Cook, Lenny Cook, Lenny Cook. And I'm from Fort Greene, Brooklyn, downtown. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 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 and then a little bit, it was confusing to me because where I'm from, uh, um, and this was maybe after you, but um, a guy named Omar Cook was he before was, me. He, Omar Cook was before yeah, you. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, I apologize. Yeah, my, so, so bro. then, Shout okay, so all. Omar Cook yeah. was was the guy. Yeah. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? And, and our hood. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was a little bit confused sometimes because you know the Omar Cook yeah. that that was that was our legend. For sure. You understand what for I'm sure. saying? You know, one time for my man Omar Cook. For sure. So you know he was our legend. In, 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 in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. So then um, me and Lenny was hanging out a little bit a couple times and stuff like that. And people were like, yo, you know Lenny Cook? Yo, you know you know his story? And I'm like, nah, then, you know, I start. I um, think I told you it. Maybe it was you. I did you tell you that. So then um, I started seeing documentaries and different things like that. And I was like, dad, this guy got an interesting story, man. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nice. Actually, so, I, they actually had a private uh, doc. For, you, for the movie, yeah, I was there. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. there, definitely. So so now, um, I know that this story has been told, yeah. but again, I think that some people that, you know, that, that you know, focus in on, on my apartment 5H and, and me and stuff like that, because when I talk about you to some people, this is like brand new. Yeah, for sure. You understand? So I think that um, in, in life, if we don't, you know, tell our history, sometimes our history is forgotten. Yeah. Um, but before I even start on the beginning, they do have a documentary that says the Lenny Cook story. Correct. Right? How true is that documentary? I mean, it, it, it's true, you know what I mean, for the most part, but it wasn't told the right way. You get what I'm saying? Okay. And that's where people, a lot of people that know basketball, they don't understand uh, 
the full story. Okay. Because, like, the documentary was supposed to have been, oh, this kid from New York, he's going to be the next big, next big thing. Um, we're going to follow him for two, three years. Once he get drafted, he's going to be the next star, boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. And those things didn't pan out that way. You get what I'm saying? So they ended up reaching out back to me maybe, like, three years after and was like, we're going to do, like, a cautionary tale. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I don't even really want to do nothing. You know what I mean? Like, because I was so stuck in my in, in my own zone and in a shell because things didn't plan out the way that it was supposed to. So I didn't really want to be bothered. But then as my son got older, he started playing and all that. So I'm like, I need to be back in the basketball world and this story can help somebody else. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, let's do it. And then the guys that filmed it, whatever, whatever, they was like, yo, we gonna, uh, you're going to be part of the editing, everything. It's going to be how you want it to be told. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't that way either. Wow. You get what I'm oh, saying? So they, so, they, they Frankie finessed you? Yeah, all the way. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so with that being said, it was like at the time, once LeBron blew up, it was like, damn, where Lenny Cook at now? So, uh, uh, so now... Um, when when I mentioned like somebody you say, who you I was with Lenny, I was a clue, I was with Lenny Cook, Lenny Cook and, and, and Lenny Cook and LeBron James name always come close together. It's like it's like simultaneously Lenny Cook, LeBron James. For sure. Lenny Cook, LeBron James. For sure. And me saying your name to people, people always say, Yo, you know Lenny Cook was better than LeBron James. Yeah. We was better than LeBron. Like, they always say that. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm like, okay. You know, and then you look at it now, it's like LeBron James is is arguably, to some people, the best no, player no, 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 no. in NBA. So he's not the best no, player he's, he's, in NBA no, history. No, 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 He's the greatest. He's the greatest he's in the NBA greatest. history. He's the better than Jordan. Better. And it took me 20 years to say it. But me, me I watched why, that. Why do you say LeBron James is better than... Than Michael Jordan. All right, for 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 the simple fact that before this kid even touched an NBA floor, you know what I'm saying. I'll never forget. I argue with guys all the time about this same situation. I'll never forget that when he was a senior in high school, Stephen A. Smith was like, "Yo, this kid's gonna be the greatest basketball player ever." He never said how many rings he's gonna win. Mm-hmm. He never said he's gonna break the scoring title. He just said he's going to be the greatest basketball player ever, and clearly he's stood by that. You know what I mean? Statistically wise, all the way down. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? As a person, as a humanitarian, as everything. You know what I mean? He's, he he lived that lived up to that height. So why so why do people feel that Michael Jordan is a better basketball player than LeBron James? I mean, Mike Mike Mike. Don't get me wrong. A goat. They're all goats. Kobe, Mike, Bra. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But Mike changed the style of basketball. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He changed the game. He ch- made it the up tempo game. He did. He did everything that we're doing well. That these guys is doing. Mm-hmm. He created that path. You know what I'm saying? But LeBron's just a different breed, man. He he just he worked hard. He never took no days off. Like now he's doing it. He's 40. You know what I'm saying? But from beginning to now, and still doing it at a high level right now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I just look at it like statistically, he's stood by that, and off the court, he stood by it. Mm-hmm. So now let me let me backtrack <laughs> a little bit because again, I'm saying that your your name and LeBron James' name is always clashing up against with each other. Um, and before I go to the beginning, there was a a, a big game that happened between you and LeBron James, mm-hmm. and they said, LeBron James, bust your ass. He ain't bust my ass. He I just better, said, that's he, what I heard. He the nigga bust your game. ass. That's he what I heard. A, he had a better game. Okay. He had a better game. So he bust game. your ass. You no, keep no, it no, real? No, 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 no. No, he didn't, he didn't bust, bust your ass. my ass. Okay. Because I They told him. me the, the ending score. The, the, I didn't right. see the game. No, see? I'm going to break it down They said that he scored on you. Like, he scored on you. See, he didn't score on me. See, see. It was, that's not what happened? See, this is, I ran out of, this is when you broke me in. Because I watched basketball and. You know, I so he did it. not score no, on you. No, it, no, it, no. First of all, the it, winning point, he didn't score on you. Not on me. No. It, first of all, uh, it was you was on you was a, you was on the court when he scored. It, it was a, it was oh, okay. a camp. It was it was a camp. Now let's see, okay. you know, now camps. What's the name of the camp? ABCD. Mm-hmm. Now ABCD is one of the biggest camps back then. Mm-hmm. And what did that but, was that an acronym for something? No, nah, that was just Adidas. It was oh, Adidas, Adidas okay. camp and Nike camp. But ABCD was the biggest was, camp at yeah, that time. It was bigger than Nike camp. Because first it first to start with five star was big, and mm-hmm. then ABCD just took over. 
Now, was you at one of those camps? I was at five star. Oh, okay. Oh, so you was nice. Yeah, I told you. Okay, I'm about to have to <laughs> make sure, you know. Nah, you see your credibility. That's see, what the, thing, the thing is this is like, would you say Omar Cook, which I don't understand how Omar Cook was your age. Omar Cook. Because he's from my neighborhood. Oh, okay. He's okay. from my neighborhood. He's All from right, Fort yeah. Green. So that was your little man, so you looked at like No, that, that was this. He's from my neighborhood, so don't do it. No, 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 no. Shout out to my man, Omar Cook. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? You're trying to, he's from you know, my hood, You know, you know some trying to switch his age and all that, like he holds his Omar Cook, <laughs> which is not. So we can okay. say that shit, that he was your little, your little homie, because you were older than him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I came up, my, 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 my position was Lamar Odom. I came playing with Eric Barkley. Speedy Claxton, Ron Artest. That's yeah. that's where I came from. Okay. So you know what I mean. That's where I played and and played against people right there. Um, you could say I played against Kobe. Play Kobe played in the ISA. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was our our range. Now going back to my guy Lenny Cook. Now first off, I got to give Lenny Cook his flowers. Uh, because for, for letting LeBron score on him. No, 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 no. <laughs> first of all, you got you got you to understand. <laughs> from my perspective of 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 it now, and he'll probably say it is that. But, you know, um, not having, like, a father figure and, like, you see everything now is just kind of like, I know you'd be looking like, yo, if this shit was me, he would be uh, a millionaire. I mean, yeah, for sure. Like, mm -hmm. Well, even, that's why I want to go. Well, that's why I want to go. Even if I had social media. That's why I want to go. That's social media. Well, that's why I want to go. I mean, because, again, mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking Jay is talking to someone who knows your story and, again, I don't, you know, a lot of people don't know your story. So yeah. when I say that, even I, I said, yo, I'm going to tell Lenny Cook, come to my crib. And like, who's Lenny Cook? I'm like, you don't know that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's a, a large generation now that may not know anything. Yeah, for sure. You understand what I'm saying? Sure. So let's, can we start from the beginning? And I want you to help me out because I don't know too much about basketball. So you starting out, you playing in the playground. Yeah. You playing so in the playground, just chilling, playing around me, my brother Damani, Denton, uh, a couple of my bros that I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? And this guy Jeff Farley, he comes to the park and was in like, the playground. In the, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. And he's like, yo, are you in high school? You in high college? School, a high, high school. school? Okay. High school. Um, so you on a high school team? Nah, I wasn't even playing on a high school team yet. Um, uh -huh. I was going to Franklin K Lane at the time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and where's that in Brooklyn? Right here in Queens. That's in Queens. Okay, in Queens. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Get it right. Man. I apologize, Jay. My bad. <laughs> Lane was with Lane. He's from Brooklyn, though. You know that Lenny Cook from Brooklyn. He's not from Brooklyn. He Where you from? That's a story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you I from? I was born in Atlantic City. Oh, you from AC? Yeah, yeah. I was born oh, in Oh, because you a fake Brooklyn Knight. No, 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 no. I'm I'm all the way Brooklyn. Okay, all right, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. All right. Come on, you seen Lenny in the trenches, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my bad. All right, so go ahead. Oh, man. But yeah, so uh Jeff was like, yo, you you play for an AAU team. I'm like, I don't even know what an AAU team is. Mm -hmm. Neither do I. So don't be mad. So he, uh, he, he, he <laughs> like, uh, at that time, <laughs> yeah. you know what an AAU team is? AAU no, team is, is like a, uh, it's like a, a, a grassroots program. Yeah, like a kid when you coming up, like you, if you, you're nice, you will go to AAU. Like how you had the union. Okay. You know union what I'm saying? DJs. The union, union DJs. Uh -huh. That's like the the, the 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 college of trying to get to the big leagues yeah. of the radio and all. Okay. Yeah. So you play AAU. So, so so this random guy was a white black guy. Black guy, black guy. Black guy just came to you up way. in the park, yeah. right? And you you was just like, all right, cool. You ain't pulled the strap out on him, nothing. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. We just we was just out there playing. You know what I mean? Okay. He and he like, just came yo. up to you per se, not you and your homies. Nah, he just came up was like, yo, y'all y'all play for somebody, and we was like, nah, we don't play. Um, so he was like, uh, our coach at this uh, program, the Long Island Panthers. Okay. So I'm like, he like, yo, you should come out, try out, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Ended up meeting my parents and all of that. And he, uh, he, he took me and Damani to, uh, I forgot what school it was, but we tried out or whatever. And God bless his soul, Tyrone Green, he was the head coach. He coached Lamar Odom, Shamika Holesclaw, you know what I mean? So he like, there's nobody in this gym that's good enough to be on this team. So I'm like, man, you don't even know. You got your Brooklyn shit or like. Like, you don't even know who I am. So long story short, the whole tryout, I'm just killing, killing, killing. And it started from there. He ended up getting me a, a scholarship to go to LaSalle Academy. And LaSalle um, is a high school. A high school in Manhattan. Okay, that's in Manhattan. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I, I did some, um, some some of their school jams in there. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. how I know. See, that's how I know the basketball players. I did the school jams. <laughs> you know, they hired me to do. Yeah, yeah you know did. what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, so all right. Ended uh -huh. up going there, you know what I mean? Uh, and you know who comes from LaSalle, right? God, Sham God, 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 God. I did, I did, I did a lot of their parties in Sham God. I was Sham Shimmy. Okay. I was in one oh, DJ. I was in one DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead. So, uh -huh. uh, 
first my first year playing there, killed. We went to the uh, when we got to the semifinals, we playing All Hollows, and that's where your man Omar come in because Omar Cook, yeah, uh, so for Green, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. One time, <laughs> uh, so we uh, we ended shout up to Taj with, Gibson too, yeah, definitely for Green. Just let you know, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro, you, 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 did your, you did your history. You yeah, 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 yeah. No, just saying they from my bit. neighborhood. So you he know DJed what I'm for them, though. Yeah, I did DJ <laughs> for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I was the one DJ and they was in but the But you was around. Right. You kind of yeah. felt like you was there, though. But let me keep it real. Right. I was getting as many chicks as them, though, as the DJ. <laughs> all right, all right, so. they, they be thinking the basketball players get more chicks. Get the DJs, I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, but go ahead. So we ended up winning the city championship. And. Just like you said, a lot of people didn't know who Lenny Cook was. Mm-hmm. At that time, nobody knew who I was. You know what I mean? And when they uh, gave me the MVP award, Omar Cook was the first one that stood up and applauded me. You know what I mean? And mm. then everybody else started applauding me. And then I went from nobody, went on the AAU circuit that summer, came back, and I was ranked top 100 in the city. Okay. And New York City. Hoop school was around. Hoop Hoop school, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, So, my my sophomore year, killed. We uh, playing against this all high school. High school. Okay. We had we 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 matching up with Rice. They got Kenny Satterfield, Andre Barrett, Talik. uh, Not Talik. uh, Talik. Andre Sweet. Uh, We playing against St. Ray's. They had Julius Hodge, Mm, uh, Allen Ray. Um, So I'm just I'm doing what I do, Mm -hmm. and I went from being Number 100 to number one in the city. There's not even national rankings yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So after that, just playing, like I said, my name became ringing because me playing on the AAU circuit. So it's, let me ask you a question. All this is just from playing in high school ball, not even the parks. No, this ain't got stuff. nothing to do with that. Okay. So it, it's, I, I, I want to continue the story, but is it wise for a, a kid now to, if he's in high school, do, do, do he still play in the parks also or, or no? Just keep playing on the high school court? Or can you do both? You can do both. You, you can, can do, do both. both. You can do okay. both. Um, uh-huh. I mean, the more work you put in, the better. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. Uh, they also got big, now, they also got big uh, tournaments now in the park, like New York versus um, New York versus New York. LA. Yeah, New uh, York. You know, they got all the Nike, them Nike took over. Took over everything. Yeah, like yeah, for that. sure. It's a, big, it's a big money game now. It's a market. Okay. It's a market, man. And, and these kids is, getting taken advantage of because of that marketing situation too. You know what I mean? Okay. But at the same time, I think it's good because a lot of kids is not going to be able to play or may never play on that next level. You know what I'm saying? And and that's where they may get their biggest shot at. Mm-hmm. You know I, was, I, I was just talking about that. I said, now, you know, if you look you look at Bronny, Bronny's made over $7 million, ain't even went to college yet. Mm-hmm. And that's why I said, well, Lenny is like, Lenny was probably the first... Like viral. Bronny is LeBron James' son. Yes, yeah. Bronny, okay. Bronny James. I just found that out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know how you would just find out. I'm just, <laughs> not, <laughs> not into basketball. I'm just Bro, not into basketball. You even got to be into bullshit. basketball. I like the New York Knicks. I'm a New York Knicks guy. That's it. I don't, you know I don't what I'm saying? I don't fuck with the Knicks. I never I, fuck with I apologize Knicks. for you the way you think. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I'm just a Knicks fan Patrick all day. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? Mark Traded Mark Jackson, traded Rod Strickland. I yeah, the Knicks do the do some some meatball yeah, stuff, you know but mean? they still that's my team. That's my team. That's my team. My man <laughs> Steph dirty, you know what I mean? Like that's still my team. Yeah, they Carmelo yeah, they, dirty. They do a lot of New York people dirty. Yo, bro, uh, they're still killing like, legacies, but you know what I mean? Like <laughs> literally, like you know, Steph. They Steph was that when, when everybody came up, people looked up to Steph. Hell and yeah. For him to come to his hometown and them do him dirty, like they did Isaiah Thomas dirty, bro. Well, tell me what they did. I'm I'm confused. I, uh, I, I I'm not gonna. I, I remember we stopped that sophomore year. But tell me, tell me uh, how they do. How's the Knicks doing these people dirty? I'm I confused. mean, first off, it's no way in hell that Patrick Ewan never got a job as a coach. You know what I mean? Just even being an assistant coach. Okay. He's over here. You trade him to Seattle. This is Patrick Ewan, bro. Like yeah. Patrick Ewan's epitome in New York. We was wearing Ewans because of Patrick Ewan. Yeah, I wear Ewans, Ewans now because you know they they kind of mm-hmm. crazy right now, but. They traded Mark Jackson. But why why can they hire Mark Jackson as a coach? Mark is one of the best. You know, Mark is sitting here being a, a, a telecaster and is one of the best coaches. And he never could get a shot. Wasn't he a coach somewhere? Or what did he coach? State. He made go to say. Yeah, yeah, he, he never got back to the NBA after that. And he's been, yeah. it's not like he doesn't want to, you know, a job. Yeah. 
I just don't. I mean, for New York, look, well, look at Oakley, bro. Like Oakley come, they, they, you didn't kick them out of the stadium, bro. They kick like, them out. Yeah. Like that's just like you going somewhere, man. You going to Fort Greene, and, 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 and they don't know who that will never are, happen. Bro. See, that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah. my thing, going back to what what I was saying with Lenny, far as the the money that's being made, mm-hmm. Lenny was like probably the first viral New York player. Like you would, people were following his life, and and he was a superstar before he even. It, well, so I want to get to I want to get to that before because yeah. we now we stop yeah. we stopped at sophomore. Yeah. All right, so sophomore year. So yeah, we. Uh, like you I was said, busting everybody ass. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. So you was yeah, hype. Yeah, yeah. You was hype because you was busting when, everybody ass. When did ass. you get your? When did you feel like I'm that nigga? That that point, that one game, you was like that. Ju- nah. My junior year, my junior year, man. When I uh, when I, we played in the uh, championship in the Bob Gibbons tournament mm. at UNC, and. My point guard was Gary Irvin. Oh, shout out to Gary Irvin. Yeah, shout out to my bro. He's supposed to have been here with me, but I don't know. We're going to talk about that later. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, so it was always me number one or Amari Stoudemire number one at the time. Like, some people would have me number one. Or, so you was, you was around the same time Amari Stoudemire yeah, started my stuff? Yeah, we was together. Okay. You know what I mean? And in the championship in the Bob Gibbons tournament. Pause on that. In the dock. Yeah. Kind of like he kind of brushed you off a little bit. Like he didn't really know who you was. And I, I kind of felt like it was like, come on, my nigga. You, you know, it, I, mean, I don't know how the, how the edit was, but yeah. I kind of felt like, damn, my nigga, you know who this You know, I mean, I'm a Lenny Cook fan. I was like, this nigga trying to play my man Lenny. I don't know. I got to ask you. I mean, that. a lot of people, I mean, when, when, you, when you bust somebody's ass, and, I'm you take the, shit, and, and you take the number one spot for good. You may brush somebody off. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Liddy like, yo, what up? You know what I mean? And he's uh-huh. like, like, this nigga's over 6'9". Yeah. <laughs> don't act like you don't know who he is, bro. Like, uh-huh. And I kind of felt like, damn, this nigga did some bullshit. And, but like, Mello was like, yo, what up? My yeah. nigga, like, you know what I mean? Giving the, the proper respect. Yeah. And homie was like, like a, like a million DJs, bro. Like, you know, like, you know you've been putting your work in. Mm-hmm. And now all of a sudden you stop DJing. You just exact. And you like, yo, what up? And it's another big DJ. He's that nigga now. He like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, you don't know yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now he don't know who the fuck I am. Yeah, nah, That's I mean, what I kind of felt. I don't know. But that goes back to this game. You know what I'm saying? We playing in the championship, and it was uh, USA Today national rankings. So I'm like, uh, me and Gary is roommates. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, bro, give me the ball all day tomorrow because I got to have 50. You know what I'm saying? And... Bro was like, nah, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go out there. You're going to get a triple-double. We're going to win. You're going to wake up the number one player in the country. That was my first triple-double in my last. That's what morning. Gary told you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. So, yeah, that was my first triple-double in my last triple-double. And I woke up the next morning as the number one player in the country. So I would have I would have rubbed him the wrong way, too. Uh-huh. You know I, mean? I would have brushed him <laughs> off, too. You get what I'm saying? So, but nah, yeah. So that's when I became the number one player in the country. And my ego just went crazy. You know what I mean? Like I was. You had everywhere. the New York. You had the New York swag. Yeah, you yeah, definitely yeah, had yeah, it. Yeah. You, I was you, everywhere. So this is the time when you start hanging out with Gav. Yeah, I was with Gav. Oh, God. <laughs> you know? God, I, was with Gav. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had yeah. Gav there. Yeah. Gav, let, oh, let, you in trouble, YG. Let, let me tell you. Also, yeah. <laughs> when even in the in the dock, you know, you you seen. Let, I don't even say it's an ego. It's just that New York shit. You know what I mean? Like, okay. New I mean, York I, City. But I, 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 carried, I carried it like that. Like, I'm All not the time. a motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm okay. saying? I did hear that a, a large part of your story is because of the New York, just New York, period. I mean... Like, I, the it, demons and devils that's, that, that comes around comes with it. You yes. know what I mean? Uh-huh. It does. You know what I'm saying? Like, at that time, now, mind you, like I said, I'm only a junior in high school. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I'm... Fucking who I want to fuck. He's knocking him down? He's knocking him down? I'm about to say that. He's yeah, knocking him down? I'm, I'm okay. whoever. You know raw what I mean? Raw dog. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, 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 it's cool. Yeah. It's sushi. <laughs> hey, raw dog. Yeah, man. bro. He's hey. definitely not a person you want to... Sushi, man. Don't fall into his trap. Ah, sushi. All of a sudden, there's another kid somewhere. You know what I mean? Lily, like, yo, what the fuck? Who's that? No, no, no. Remember back in old kids? Hey, this is Cynthia. You know what I mean? No, but I like my, the Martin episode. Remember when the little what, kid came? Oh, with the, with the big ears and shit. Yeah, I, I'm your son. Yeah, yeah. Lenny, I'm your son. Yeah. I, I'm nah. Lenny Cook. You know what I mean? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but my thing was, um, you know, the the movie 
was incredible. And I don't know. Documentary. Uh-huh. Documentary. It, I mean, it's a movie, really. A doc, Got you. But, you know, a doc is really, like, just excerpts. This is, like, really his life. You know yeah. what I mean? They really had, you know, he was inside his life, him chilling in the crib. But my, my illest, the illest part that I, I always laugh was, like, when the, I, the white dude was like, yeah, man, I see fucking Liddy Cook in the fucking club, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? In Vegas, yeah. <laughs> and he, you know what I mean? He's in the uh, try. I mean, in the in the in the, in so the now, tournament oh, so now. I, let me get this clear. You're a junior in high school. Yeah. And you're in the nightclubs. Yeah, for sure. Partying. Heavy. 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 Drinking. Like, like knocking down TV stars. Yeah, yeah. That word, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was fine. I, 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 heard, I heard him say he what was what like. What time so I can remember around, just like Planet Hollywood time? Oh, my God, I was burning Planet Hollywood. B- burning now. Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood, <laughs> chaos. Oh, <laughs> right. yeah, that's my era. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goldfinger yeah. era. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah. oh, was, man, what, what, Goldie, what you in trouble, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. What was that shit? Ford. Tammy yeah. Ford, oh my God. Mars Derek Corbin tap. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Mars 2112. No, this is probably Mars a little bit after. No, no, that's, that's that the time. same time. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheetah. Oh yeah, man, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, could, I could actually say when I when I was when because I was like probably I'm older than Lenny, so I probably was out of college coming down, and I used to see Lenny. I, I kind of kind of feel, and I'm and I want you to brush your shoulders off. That Lenny was like the master of the big hats then, bro. Yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, okay. you, you saw Lenny, you know that was Lenny Cook with the hat on and the big, you know, the big, earrings. Yeah, the big earrings. That fab shit, you know what I'm saying? Size eight hat. Yeah. Nah, 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 seven and a half. Seven and a half, seven half. half. Okay, okay. Niggas ain't gonna wear eights, bro. Yeah. Nah, yes, they did a hat of the, I, I used no to call way. it like the Harlem stuff, right? Nah? Yeah, yeah nah. Okay. Uh, my that was Brooklyn. Had... Brooklyn. Brooklyn was kind of, I'm from Queens, so I, I know that Brooklyn had the hats and the big earrings. Mm-hmm. You know okay. what I'm saying? And then, the, you know, the jerseys. Let, let me ask you, um, what was the craziest offer that you had that somebody came to you because you just popping like, yo, Lenny, I give you three thousand to play in a, in a basketball game. Well, how much was the mo- most you ever got paid in a, in a regular, like, like a, like, in a regular yeah, game? Yeah, like, like a regular game. Ball, like, yeah, shit, I got paid like twenty five hundred in Rucker. You know what I mean, just to play, just to show up, play. Uh, <laughs> Real easy yeah, money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because they would pay us every week to come. You know what I mean? Certain players. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it was guys that I was playing with that was getting more than that. You know what I mean? Mm. A whole lot of game was getting getting the bag. Kareem Reed was getting the bag. Like, them guys was getting play, getting paid to play. You know what I mean? At Rucker and all that. Let me ask you, who 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 in the era of New York City, and not including yourself as far as street ball plays, like, because you just mentioned Kareem Reed, mm-hmm. and, you know, who did you say, like, God damn, like, your top five? You, I mean, you those say. guys set the tone for me. You know what I mean? You, Ali Mo. Um, Tough. Yeah, played the same position as me, 6'9". And crazy with the handle, you know what I mean? God bless his soul. Big Shrek. Mm-hmm. Uh, great energy on the court. Always make... And you was young proud. playing against these guys, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, a whole lot of game. A Butter, Kareem Reed, Ali Mo. Uh, I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, what about I Skip? Did, Rafa, yeah, yeah. but the skip, <laughs> skip set the tone for everybody for that and one shit. Mm. How did how did street ball change the game for basketball? Uh, oh, skip. Do you did think that. that was better? Do you think it was better than NBA? Skip made it notable that street ball players can play in the NBA. And how, how did he do that? By being and <laughs> one and killing in Rucker and going to Fresno State, killing playing street ball basketball on a college level mm-hmm. and then transferring that over to the NBA game. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He, he was the one that set the tone for that. <laughs> do you feel, do you feel you and Skip have like a similar story as far as being outside? Like Skip was outside at Skip that time. Skip was outside. <laughs> Skip, Skip was outside. I, you know Skip, what I, mean? I know him from clubs. <laughs> yeah, Skip, I didn't know he was a basketball right player. Club. Nobody, yeah. not, you know, yeah, nobody else knew yeah. Skip because he... Skip. Was it with like Mook Diamond or something like that? Yeah, he does people names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mook, yeah. Mook and Gab. Mook. Both of y'all. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. They, they had Ooh. Lenny. Like Skip, Skip was um, like, you know, came out came out of the streets, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And always was outside. And I just yeah, always see Lenny outside. Like, when it was it, do you feel like if I would have went to college and played like one year? Nah, for sure. Like, I don't have no regrets of nothing I've done. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I never expected any of those things. So you didn't go to college. Nah. So junior, yeah. junior, yeah, I don't mean to cut you off. No, junior, no, no. Junior year, mm-hmm. you didn't do senior year. Mm-mm. So from junior year, it just was like, forget about college. Nah, well, 
He didn't play his whole I, senior I was, year. I, I, I played eight games my yeah. senior year, and mm-hmm. then I, uh, my eligibility ran out. But um, uh, you saying your elig- say it again? Eligibility? How you eligible. say the word? <laughs> I'll be eligible. 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 Right. Eligible. Yeah. Yeah. Eligible. <laughs> eligible. <laughs> yeah. What? What? Eligible for? Me finishing my senior year because in the state of New Jersey, because I had transferred to go to school in New Jersey my okay. senior year, but. I was turning 19. So when you turn So you was 19, like a grade behind or something like that? Yeah, yeah. I, okay. Uh, because when I transferred from Franklin K. Lane to go to LaSalle, they reclassed me. Okay. You get what I'm saying? They kind of like left you back. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when I got to Jersey, I, I was only able to play eight games before I, my birthday. You get what what Jersey team was this? I played at Old Japan High School. Okay. Um, so Then you turned 19, so it was like you were too old. Yeah. So either way, you wouldn't have been able to go to college then? No, I could have went, went to college. I, okay. I, I could have went to prep school. I, I had offers to go to prep, but I didn't want to go to prep school. Like, they wanted me to go to Oak Hill with Melo. It was not enough basketball for me and Melo to play together. You know what I'm saying? But at that time, imagine Lenny Cook and Melo at Oak Hill. Exactly. Now looking back time, 20 yeah, years yeah, later, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but I know but you're keeping it real. Like, like now, at that time. it's like, damn, I, I should have went prep for that year. You know what I mean? But... Because we'd have won the national championship. You get what I'm saying? And oh, you you and him going to Syracuse together? I was never going to Syracuse. Wow. Like, I, I was I, I was signing my letter of intent to go to St. John's. I was never leaving New York. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to go to St. John's. And that's what St. John's was rocking yeah, at was, that time. Yeah, was the shit. Yeah. Omar Cook and all of them guys who was on that team. Bootsy thought. Damn, Lenny, you should have went to St. John's, no, no, no. my <laughs> nigga. Let, let, me, let, me, let me tell you yeah. why, though. All right. So, I was going to St. John's. Coach Jarvis recruited me. You know what I Mike mean? Jarvis, yes. uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So when they fired him, I'm like, man, I ain't going to school. And then I had my son. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, man, I got this responsibility. Mm-hmm. So you're still in high school and you had the son. Okay. So um, I wanted to go to St. John's. Like, I wanted to play at the Garden on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? And when they fired Coach Jarvis, I'm like, man, I ain't going to college. I'm mm-hmm. just go ahead and take this money that they offer on me, put my name in the draft. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Went undrafted. Shit was but like, what you mean by offering this money? I'm because I, I, again, you're talking to a person I don't know nothing about yeah. basketball. So now you're a college guy, and, and I mean not a college, a high a, a, a high school senior. Yeah. And they offer you money to go. Well, into, I, I had got a I, I had got an agent. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I put my name in the draft, an NBA draft. How do, how does someone do that? Well, a runner came to me in Club Chaos. That's where a runner found me at. Uh huh. He was so you you were you were club party and drunk. Yeah. Okay. And, uh-huh. and this dude from Michigan, he was working for this agency and was like, "Yo, we want to sign you." Blah 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 blah. blah. So uh, my man Damani, he was like, "Yo, we will meet with you tomorrow." You know what I mean? So we ended up going to the uh, Double Tree on Forty Second Street to meet the dude. You know what I mean? I signed the contract with him. He gave me the bag. So, so now, an uh, agent is the one. Uh, uh, agent is a person that enters you into a yeah, draft. That, that's, got, that, that that's how it still works basically today. Basically, sells you. You know what I mean? Okay, gotcha. Like, he's supposed to get you a job. Uh, you know that's I mean? that's how that's how it still works today. Yeah, for sure. Gotcha. They okay. front. They front the money. They yeah. front like that. That's like a, like if you get a credit card, you get the money. And they From an agent. Yeah. yeah. So okay. when, when you get signed, he'll he'll get his money back. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, but you know, shit. Him being what seventeen, eighteen years old. Um, I don't know what the bag was, but it was, it was a bag. A big bag, big bag. And I blew it. Do you owe that guy that money? No, he's never getting that. He's never getting his over for He never will see that. Oh, his over. <laughs> <It's> over. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. It was an investment debt. It yeah. okay. didn't happen. Yeah. Okay, all right. But, like, so after that, I went undrafted and all of that. Uh, was like in depression mode for a while. You know what I Wait, mean? Wait, so what happened now? So now you entered the draft. Yeah. At a high school senior at 19 years old. Yeah. You entered the, the NBA draft. Yeah. Why didn't if you are, wait, hold on. I, we, are we skipping when LeBron James crossed you over never, and laid you never, up? No, I did the crossing over. I'm just, all right, yeah, so let's, what, let's that what was that game? That game was my junior year. Going into junior year. Yeah, yeah. So how did this in the summertime? So how did this game? Because I, I, I from, from me, people talking to me, they telling me that this is the, the big game. And, and this is the game that made LeBron number one over Lenny Cook. No, yeah, it did. That game, that game definitely 
So this, I, that game who, happened before the, that happened. That, that happened the night after you was in Club Chaos. Nah, yeah, I was definitely out in the clubs that night. You know what I mean? Because I know I'm playing. So I played mellow. I played mellow that day. Went out that night. All they kept saying was, "You got another big game in the morning." And mind you, this game's like eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. And you out to four in the morning in the yeah, nightclub with Young Gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know if I was with Gas that okay. night, but I was definitely out. Okay. Uh, like, you know but, um, <laughs> I'll get Gav in trouble right now. <laughs> Gav is going to be so mad at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 shout out. Watch it. But, uh, okay. So, yeah. Um, so I played Melo the day before. Went out that night. And, and they was like, yo, you got to play this kid, LeBron. So I'm like, all right, I don't give a fuck who that is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, don't, I never I'm heard really of him. cook, nigga. Okay. I never heard of him. Uh-huh. Um, so... Next so morning. they warned you that nobody LeBron, won, nobody LeBron won me King nothing. James, no, no, or he was Chris had, James at the no, time. Nobody warned me nothing. Like, it was no warning. Like, for what? Okay. I don't, I didn't know who he was, didn't care who he was. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? All Until I know, he laid this, scored you. And all got I know is that morning, okay. the whole Brooklyn was in the gym. Mm-hmm. I go crazy in the first half, and I ran out of gas. And he took over in the second half. And, and you think you, because of, why do you think you ran out of gas? From the night before. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, like, my thing is, even with that even with that game, though, like, my teammate is at the line. Before the game winning shot he hit, my teammate is at the line, missed both free throws. Whether he hit that shot or not, if he made them free throws, we would have won the game. So, by you losing the game, that makes him LeBron James number that, one? It, that, it, create, it created who he is to this day. Did you you didn't have not one guy around you saying, "Yo, go home, man. Why are you in these clubs?" Not no one said that to you. I didn't. I didn't. Like I was doing. I did what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't but no one to... said this to you. Nah. Like yo, because even me, right? And again, some of these people are gonna be super upset at me, but it doesn't make a difference. So yeah. I remember um, I was in Miami, and um, and and this is my guy. He may be upset, but it happened a while ago. Um, I remember Zab Judah. Mm-hmm. Zab Judah had, I think this was the fight that he was supposed to have with. How did you? No, with one, if it was either him or, or, or uh, Floyd Mayweather. Okay. And we in, uh, I, I want, what was, the, what was that club that had your name in, in Miami, had your name on the, the, the thing? Uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, but it was BMF night. Okay. Right? It'd be, I have a picture. I have this picture too. Mm-hmm. So Zab is drinking Grey Goose. This is Grey Goose time. Okay. And I'm like, yo, this guy got a fight in like a week or something like yeah. that. This is drinking Grey Goose. And, and I'm like, it, it just was weird to me because I'm like, there's no one to, you know, and Zab was... Zab was, we were cool high yeah. and by, but I don't know if I, I, you know, I had the power to say, yo, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, to me, it's just weird that no one says to someone, yo, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Nah, it's, I mean, like, big shout out, man. And I love to, Zab. To, I don't know what nah, Zab is my guy. Yeah, that's yeah. my guy. But, uh, but I think he admitted, did, did he, I don't know, did he admit that he was partying yeah, and stuff? Yeah, nah, I mean, okay, but just we, 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 like we always ran into each other in the okay. clubs and all of that. Like, Zab. Before y'all supposed to have a big event yeah, the next day. Yeah. Oh, so y'all both was together? Yeah. Okay. No, just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, like, um. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just, listen, I'm keeping it real. Nah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. But, nah, like, Jim Jones, bro, and I, I, I tell him this story all the time. Like, we talk about it. I remember going to Cheetah one night, and it's me, my bros, and he's coming out. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, what, what are you doing? Like, where you going? I'm like, well, how's, how, what is it looking like in there? Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, you're not going in there? You know what I mean? He's like, this shit going to be here when you when you get to where you're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He, and... I, I swear to you, every time I see him, we chop it up, I bring up that story because he like one of the first people mm. that ever was like, yo, nah, you ain't going in here because you you need to be getting ready to try to do mm-hmm. something with yourself. You know what I mean? And I respect him highly for that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because he was, he was like one of the only ones. Mm-hmm. Wow. So salute to Jim Jones. Nah, I, I'm sure. glad for I sure. will pick up Jim Jones <clears throat> yeah, for that. For He's sure. a friend of the... Fr- friend Don't of, give Lenny uh, those chips you gave Jim. No, nah, I'm definitely not eating them chips. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, for sure. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no. <laughs> no He's no way. way. <laughs> He's like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 oh, no. so, so going, you know, forward, fast forward. Now, you said with the documentary, 
that they totally you were supposed to edit it. Yeah. It's supposed to be a right way. Yeah. And they didn't have the right way. Far as the residuals, the money. I didn't get nothing off of that documentary. So it, are, it was, are we are we have lawyers suing or did they make money because they made money. They, they sold had to it make to money. Showtime, they sold it to ESPN. You know what I mean, they they, they they robbed me, you know what I mean? Of my story. Mm-hmm. You know but I'm this saying? is your likeness. So is it any way are you going getting lawyers for this? I, I, I need one. Got any? You got any? I well, maybe you can talk to you know, yeah, you know, I mean, anybody out there that can help me find a lawyer that's in Nah, that, nah it's a, well, that, that's or, right there. We, or we maybe here. try to remix and, and do uh, one yourself now. Yeah, I mean, I got a couple people that ask me about that. My main thing, man, I think I need, I, I want to do my book. You know what I mean? Okay. Because for sure I know it's a New York Times bestseller. Will you add in when LeBron James crossed you over and laid you oh up for the God, winning shot? Because you kind of skipping over that I'm part, not, I, I and I heard over that. that part. Oh, because I heard that. I heard that a lot of times. Like LeBron James, he hit a game winning shot on you. No, not on me. Okay, he hit a game winning shot going up the. So court. people lied to me because they said it was on you. It was never on me. Okay, it all was right. never on me. All right, I'm, all right, you know I'm listening. That's that's a fact. And then they said afterwards you had a crown in your in your thing and you kingdom. Get the fuck out of here. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> awesome. He's, he's sticking with this LeBron yeah, thing right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, because yeah. he's skipping over that part. So because I don't know. I he didn't see the game. I didn't see the game. So he hit he had win, he had the game winning shot. Game but winning you also shot. you also know, fast forward. Uh, did you did you see the movie? I saw it. I saw it when it first came out. All right, cool. So, I'm so, so my memories. Definitely my mem- know I told him about this movie. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. I know we was in so, so like, so when I told you to come, right? Yeah. I think you was the one that told oh, me yeah. to tell me, right? Yeah, he's out. And that's of when you. Yeah. <laughs> I said something. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Fifth, fifth man. Yeah. I told you to come. <laughs> this is when he drunk fifth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a suing uh, I, 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 I tried to, I, I, you, you know, to go raw, like, yeah, yeah you, no, you know it's a, a lot of shit. shit. <laughs> but I, I try to, I like to be unbiased because we hang out. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. I like to be unbiased on what I ask. And I'm not a basketball player. Yeah. I'm not a basketball fan. I, you know, if I watch basketball, I watch I watch um, the, the, the finals. And that's it. And, you know, I'm not going to a game. Yeah. I'm not doing none of that stuff. So, I, you know, but... I feel like your story is very interesting to a lot of people because some people don't know. And, I, and then, you know, a lot of us as youths, they may not know the do's and don'ts. And sometimes, you know, some, we have to tell them. No, for sure. And you that, understand? And, that, and that's, that's why, like, don't get me wrong. It's a million Lenny Cook stories. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And... I'm just blessed with the opportunity to be on. It's a not a million like Lenny Cook stories, though. Nah, first it, it off, it because but hold on, because they say you were better than the best no, player me, in no, NBA no, no, no. history. Let, let me, let me. So let me, it's not a million of Lenny Cook you, stories. You understand? This, there's a lot of Lenny Cook stories. How LeBron laid them up and crossed them over and laid on <laughs> them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's not a Lenny Cook story. I want to ask you. Like we had. Um, yeah, Lenny go be straight. Yo, we had. We had. I don't know if he was a part of it. What if he gonna be dangling this shit? Yeah, no, I don't see him. Yeah, you too much on your branch. I apologize. Yeah, let me drink some Gatorade. I apologize. Get some more Gatorade. Uh, but yeah. listen, I gotta, I, we got to contain this. Yeah, so let, me, let me ask you something, right? Um, I forgot my man name from the Bulls, that, uh, the tour. Joe King uh, Noah. Yeah. Was he the producer? He, he was the executive producer of the documentary. So what's up with him? And my thing with that, like, he put his name on it to help push it. You get what I'm saying? Okay. He didn't know nothing about the paper and none, none of that. You know okay. what I mean? He... Because it kind of felt like my he little producer. bro. Like yeah. he 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 put the stamp on it for it to be pushed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He ain't know nothing about. Did you ever have a conversation with him? Like, nah, yo, I did, yo, I did. my brother, I did, like, I did, I did, yo, I my did. nigga, you know I ain't get paid for that shit. Yeah, I did, I did, and he was like, man, I ain't know, like, I ain't know nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He reached out to him to be the executive producer of it because he they know he was my little bro. All right, but mm-hmm. little bro, you know, executive producers means that he hey, might have had a check. Yeah, for sure. For and sure, I know his but, check. The check that you deserve, because it's totally a movie, you know what I mean? The likeness and everything is that, you know, because I'm a person that I'm at the barbershop looking at this, and I, I'm at, I watched the movie, I, I, I watched it a couple of times, yeah. and I feel like the way it, it was, it, you know, it was projected in a way 
that you might have not liked it, but it was a projected like you really got to learn from this. No, yeah, and that's like, my thing. Like, like I said, it may have not been told all the way like the way it should be. That moment when you was crying, yeah. I teared up. Yeah, because I felt, I felt, I felt, I felt you was like, yo, you know, he was like, I, my, my name ain't even Lenny, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? My name is Leonard. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I kind of felt you like. Cause you know we all go through this, you yeah. know what I mean? With you know us having entourages and being celebrities and famous, and you know, and self can say it like you know it's thirty other people that's counting on him, yeah. But nobody's looking at what's what, what about me? You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. like when I go through this shit, like yeah. you know what I mean? If if I get you know what I mean, I'm the face of everything. But now when it's it's come down, nobody everybody, everybody leaves, everybody going, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like that part was like wow, because I played ball and I yeah. seen your story. And I know he called me because I remember we was at um, Sirius XM mm -hmm. when he used to be there, Shake 45, the same as pub I worked there. So he gave me a <laughs> show. But I told him about the story. I think it was me, Kimmy Cupcakes. He did and, tell um, me. I, I, he did tell me because, well, again, I'm not, you know, I, I, I hate to keep, keep saying, but I'm just not a basketball guy. Yeah. You understand? If I actually, I'm at a I actually game, DM'd you. I'm DJing. On, 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 the, on the joint. It was like, yo, you need to come he up to the. you, though? Nah, he answered answer me. You didn't answer him? Oh, so he, he probably didn't know who I was. Yeah. Oh. He probably didn't know who I was. I checking that shit on okay. somebody I know. Nah, he was oh, like, yo, I, I'll get you back to you. And I was like, no doubt. Oh, he spent you? I, I, I spend people every day, so maybe it was a <laughs> But exactly. he spent you. Maybe, maybe it was like the spend Like a bro spent him and gave him a shot. Yo, this nigga spend me every day. You know what I mean? This is my friend. You know what I mean? Vernon Hill. He spent me too, though. I call him Vernon Hill. I had a face time with me. Yeah, it's me, nigga. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, some people deserve it. Yeah, yeah. He just called me Vernon Hill. You know Vernon Hill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how many times we run but I course I also understand that it's a lot of things that comes across our boards. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? People don't know, like it can be 40 different people hitting you at the same time. Yeah. And you know, everybody wants their respect. But my thing is this is that you definitely need to find a lawyer. Yeah. I don't I don't care, but we're not gonna get in the camera, yo, whoever's out there. Yeah, yeah. You need to go find it, because that's a lot no, I think that's good that sometimes that somebody could see but and somebody can help. Vertigo? I do have entertainment lawyers, yes. Okay, 100%. and maybe he can switch to entertainment You know, like I'm a DJ and you, and you can put me into a party. Like, it's people that do prom. No, I can introduce you to two or three entertainment lawyers. He's the millionaire, too. No, for sure, so. for sure. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you know. We know that. <laughs> we, know, we know that you got to change <laughs> a, a couple of, uh, of, of contracts. Yeah. We in your crib. I don't know what crib we at. Yeah, like, we'll know. Which one age? Five ages is better than my house. So. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, it's my apartment, right? Yeah, now it's your apartment. We hang out and do what we do. What we do. But as far as, you know, the, the after of the Lenny Cook story, is there any way that you, because there's a lot of big money in vendors, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, where you can get a vendor license and talk to a million schools. Mm -hmm. Like in Brooklyn, it's over 100 schools that yeah. would love that you could talk to these teams. Yeah, Did I, you? and that's what, that's what, I'm, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to do motivational speaking and all of that. Definitely. You know what I mean? Um, uh, like, I don't have I no still, representation in none of that. You I still want to finish the story, yeah, though, sure. right? So now... You 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 go into the draft. Yeah. No one drafts you. No, nah, I went undrafted. What? How, how? I'm confused. How could this be that you are you are better than LeBron? Yeah. Right. And you're in the same draft as LeBron. I'm the year before him. The year before LeBron. Yeah. And no one says I want. Why? Why is this? My image. You know what I'm saying? I was doing all of the wrong things. People didn't want to take a chance on. Mm -hmm. I was in the clubs all the time. I was ripping and running all the time. You know what I mean? I'm drinking. But was you still was you still performing no, on the court? Absolutely. Absolutely. But at that time, like, for example, I'm at the Wells Fargo Center the night AI about to get his jersey retired. Okay. And when he sees me, he hugged me and he just really broke it down like, yo, it was never letting you in like that. I already fucked it up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So he was like, they was never letting you in. You know what I mean? This Every is after you got snubbed from, yeah. from the, okay. Yeah, this uh -huh. is like years later. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, when you saw, okay, I yeah. understand. So you, think, you think he saw the movie? Yeah, he saw it. He saw it. He told me he saw it. You know what I mean? Check. Huh? Check again. If, if we got NBA motherfuckers walking up like <laughs> and giving you embracing, we need that check, Lenny. Because he was kind of like the badass basketball <laughs> yeah. player. Yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah. understand. So he uh -huh. was basically like, yo, bro, 
no, how, no matter how talented you were, they was never going to take a chance on you because of your image. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So how did the media and how did people feel that they, you know, it was like, ah, right, you enter in the draft and no team says, I want Lenny Cook. I mean, a lot of people was disappointed. Like, Boston brought me in for Summer League. I killed in Summer League. You know what I mean? And then we, my last so game of Summer League. when they bring you in Summer League. They, this was a big game when he was supposed to play against LeBron. Mm -hmm. And so when you day. bring, when you, again, mm -hmm. right? So so when you go into Summer League, there, there's no contract involved. Not, right, not in Summer League, no. Nah. Uh, so Summer League is you playing to get a contract. Yeah, for sure. Were you doing good? I was killing. And they still killing. didn't. My last game was against Cleveland, and I, they didn't even play me. And that was the night he was supposed to go against everybody. Why didn't they, Why you think they didn't play you? Because they, 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 I was coming for his ass. He was coming Pulse. for LeBron. Yeah, for sure. So how, why wouldn't Do you think the, the league Celtics set the, that up, the, that the, they didn't want you to? The league didn't want that, man. They didn't want that. And I'm talking about the viewers all over the world was waiting for that game. Facts, bro. So, all over. So why wouldn't the Celtics... Be like, nah, you know, we we they already win. had their team. They just brought me in for summer league. Like they knew, they knew Walter McCarty was coming back. Antoine uh, Walker, Paul Pierce. They had just drafted Marcus Banks as the point guard. Like their team was set. You know what I mean? But they brought me in for summer league to get shine to other teams. You know what I mean? But nobody ended up picking me up. And then, like I said, that last game against Cleveland, they didn't even play me at all. Now, did you, did you, I don't know, I'm yeah, sorry, sorry, Jay. Did, was you starting or they, or like, it was I like, they already had their start. And this particular league. game, they just said, yo, you're not starting today. I didn't No play. explanation. I didn't play at all. That's no, weird. No explanation. That's no explanation. Weird. None. Zero. Zero. You didn't ask her why I'm not playing today. It didn't matter, man. It didn't matter. Like, who am I to ask them? Who am I to ask the coaches? Like, I don't have no position. You know if you watch the movie, you need to watch the movie again. I do. Because yeah, you see I, I wanted to be unbiased. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah, I mean, you're bullshitting right now, bro. You need to watch the movie, Vernell. Again, you forgot everything. It's Hollywood, man. Yeah. Yeah. You need to watch the movie again. You see Lenny like this, like, like, yo, I'm ready to yeah. get in, bro. Like, I'm like, he's. You see him like, uh -huh. not like I like, like you said. This is we're sitting at we sitting to see what Lenny Cook that was compared, like you said, to the best player, the greatest player to ever play. Mm -hmm. Which I disagree with Lenny on the, the, of course the you number do. one. Of you know course what I mean? You do. Uh, uh, Mike is my, my of number course. one. Of course. He was okay. mine too. You know what I mean? He was. We're we, we not going to sit here and say <laughs> you, you get to the championship 10 times and you only win four. Hey, man. Mike ain't never lost in a championship in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the finals. And we go by ball. Let's, 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 Mike ain't never lay up Lenny Cook neither, though, like LeBron did. Yo, <laughs> In the same breath, in the same breath as you mentioned as one of the greatest DJs to come out of New York City, mm -hmm. you know, that's a that's a, a he's accomplishment that he's like one of the mentioned with LeBron James. Now, would you ever reach out to him? Because you know LeBron is doing a lot of movies and stuff. Nah, the House true. Party movie was weak, bro. Trash. I'm sorry, bro. Trash. I, I, we not I, I out. liked it, man. No, no. I thought That's it was true. cool. Come like on, I man. think. Nah, yeah. I've reached out to uh, I've reached <laughs> I out to a cool. couple of people. To do, to do social media, like I reached out to them just to be on the barbershop because everybody was like, "Yo, you need to be on the barbershop." Yeah. You know what I mean? You sit down with him at, with a one on one on the mm -hmm. barbershop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But nobody, I ain't never got. And nobody reached back out, you know. And what I, saying? and I, and but I, maybe like him, mm -hmm. Clue, them guys can get in cut, touch with those people. You yeah, know well, what I mean? I mean, what? There you, there you go, right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so this is a conversation today is what you would like to have with LeBron. I mean, yeah, like I'm not, I'm, I ain't looking for no handouts or nothing, man. Just I know you, you in position right now to make a positive impact on me, and me making that positive impact on the youth. What? If I'm LeBron, what what would what would be initiative for me to talk to Lenny Cook today? I mean, just about me sharing my story, man. You you okay? You, you into you got your own school? You know what I mean? You into the youth? You know what I mean? My story is impactful to the youth. Mm -hmm. And 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 the thing about with Lenny is that he's not a, he's not afraid to say that he fucked up. At a, well, I didn't at hear you say day. that today, and and uh, as sitting on my couch. What? That you fucked up. I mean, I did. Like, nobody, I don't blame nobody for my mistakes but me. You know what I'm saying? How did you fuck up? What would you say you fucked up? Not work, not putting the work in. You know what I mean? Not going going to bed on, on time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Going to school. You know what I mean? I wasn't even going to school. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, 
certain shit that I know that I did is no no blame on nobody else but myself. You know what, what I mean? What would you say to a kid now that's saying, yeah, but Lenny Cook said, you know, he 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 was in the club and all that, but he still bust ass on the court. Yeah, but I will also tell you, look, use me as an example of what not to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just because I did that don't mean you can do that same shit and perform the next day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That was just a God-given talent that I was able to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When I see AI actually uh, NBA All Star games in Atlanta, I seen that motherfucker at the same hotel as me drink the whole night at the bar. He didn't go out. He said, yeah. "I went out." You know how you go out? You know, it's a specific bar like when we did mm -hmm. CWI, CWI. What was yeah, it? CIAA. 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 Yeah. Right. We had a lot of moment nights dead pause. So we the bar was right there. And I seen yeah. AI. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's fucking AI. Yeah. Like I, me being a, a, a DJ, I've. The only people I get hyped over, and I don't know how to, I want to ask you this question, is NBA players and TV show guys. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you remember when the, the Wire was out, when I seen yeah. fucking um, Snoop or Idris? No, I seen Michael B. Jordan. Oh, Michael and B. I was B. like, yo, Wallace, what's up, nigga? And he died. And he was like, like really looking at me. I'm like, my nigga, man. And, I, and he was like, I know he wanted to say, because you know I'm an over-aggressive person. Uh -huh. And he was like, he ain't the diesel nigga he was, just skinny wild. I'm like, yo, my nigga, yo, why did you tell? <laughs> he's looking at me like, that was a fucking movie. <laughs> but just saying that is just that, like, you know what I mean? Just seeing the AI and then coming back in the club and I'm still seeing him drinking. Yeah. Same, and I'm same like, what the fuck? And he won the MVP. Yeah, Spree Row used to do that, right? Yeah. Spree Row? I mean, it was, I, I mean, some people can do it. Like, like uh -huh. I was just having this conversation the other night with my guys, like, my man went with me over to the Philippines. Like I would, I would go drink before the games. Let me let me ask you, know you a question. Mm -hmm. Let me. And I average forty and twenty in the Philippines. Let me let me ask you a question. These are this is a two part question. You know, Lamar Odom is my man. He knows this. I was mm -hmm. signed to Lamar I, as a DJ. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to put an album out. When I was around, uh, oh, the NBA money was just different. Mm -hmm. Like. I got a, I kind of got caught up because I thought I was rich mm -hmm. at one point. I always L, L bought me a car. Uh, we was flying G four jets, mm -hmm. and you know, just seeing you know, you know, niggas is blowing trees. And I'm looking like damn, this nigga blowing a tree. You know what I mean? Niggas was blowing. I ain't see nobody him whatever else he was yeah. doing. But yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? From seeing what hit what what he's went through, how, what is your view about that with, with Lamar? Like? I mean, like I just watched that. Uh, sitcom they did on on him um, about the drugs and all of that. You know what I mean? And I reached out to him because, like, I know L.O. Yeah. I didn't know good. that side of L.O. This is what I'm what saying. Everybody saying? know that L's are good yeah. if you know him. Like, he's a spin artist like you, but when you're yeah, around sure. him, yeah, like, he's going to show good, you everything. He's, a good, he's yeah. a good dude, you know what I mean? I grew, grew up watching him play, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was compared to him, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, so, like, when he would come to Atlantic City, We'd hang out when he was doing the celebrity boxing shit in Lion City and all of that. But to to know that part of him, it like touched me even more because it's like, damn, my nigga, like I ain't know it was that bad. And that's what people don't get. Like, like you said earlier, some people don't know what the fuck you're going through. You know nice. what I'm saying? So Did it hurt you like cause it, like you said, it, it bothered it hurts it me like, me a I, lot I, because I had to reach out to him like, damn, bro, I even respect you even more now though. That you even was able to put it out to the people like that. You get what I'm saying? And he was and he was there. Yeah, he was like, a superstar. You get what I'm saying? Like he was a superstar, bro. The championship, then get, getting into the Kardashian family and living that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Like so that over three hundred million. That may took told to, into whatever he was getting into. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But what do you feel like? Do you feel like, because you know, you had your story, and it's like, damn, like, I, I my stories were, but shit, like, I, I, L, yeah. what's up, my nigga? Like, you know, shout out to L, no, a I, great I, I, person. I, I, yeah, for sure, but I just, like, I don't, I don't judge. So it's like, damn, my nigga, well, what? Why? You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what the fuck made you? Do, do you think that maybe it was a higher being that, that, Gave you your story because you could have been the LO, or maybe that your story catapulted for him to tell his. Absolutely, because I feel like after see, I'm gonna get into another part, but like the bag that the agent gave me, right? Mm -hmm. I blew that shit in a year. 
Mm-hmm. So imagine if I had a million, if I got a million and some change from a team. Mm-hmm. Like, who knows what the fuck my life would have been like. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? The alcohol, the women. I don't know about the drug part, but, like, facts. Yeah, that shit made, took me down another road. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, but, like, a lot of people don't know about my car accident. Like, everybody think the LeBron game ended mm. Lenny Cook's career. I was in a car accident that damn near took my life. You wow. get what I'm saying? They wanted to amputate my leg. You know what I'm saying? So people don't know about that. Like, I really wasn't even going to share that, but you brought that up with LO. Like, my, my, they, I was in a wheelchair for two and a half years, my nigga. Wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was in a coma for nine days. You know what I mean? You got into an accident here or overseas? In California. I was playing in California at the time in the ABA. You know what I mean? Tiny Archibald was my coach at the time. And after uh, our first game, we went to a team dinner. We won our game, went to a team dinner. And me and my teammate after the um, dinner got in a car accident. You know what I mean? Left him dead on arrival. I was in the coma for nine days, my nigga. Wow. Mm-hmm. Like, people don't know that part. Like, I was waiting to share that for the book and all of that. But, like, since you brought up Lamar... Like, that, that shit put me in a whole different mind state. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's when basketball was really over for me. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Wow. So, so, because I just want to get the story straight. So now, we didn't make it to the NBA. Mm-hmm. They pick everybody else. Yeah. They, they just round five, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. No Lenny Cook. Yeah. Right? Brooklyn going crazy right now. Yo, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Right? Now, what was what was next? I went overseas. To I went, to I went to play in the Philippines. To the so now I'm starting to notice a lot of like basketball players going overseas, and sometimes mm. they say they make more money overseas. A lot of people do, right? Um, uh, Hollis uh, Rondé Jefferson is a good friend of mine, right? I don't know if you know who he is. He was he played on the Nets, uh, Toronto. He was playing in Turkey also okay. now, making a lot of money. Yeah. Um, I also know that Steph. It's like the biggest, the biggest thing, thing in China. In China. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like way bigger than yeah. what he was doing. You Blessing know, um, for also, him, um, for sure. Jesus, what's yeah. my guy name from Coney Island? Isaiah? Whitehead. Whitehead. That's my guy. My like, guy, bro, Whitehead. You know we be at this yeah. shit area. Whitehead. Yeah. Okay. You know um, what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 A lot of people go overseas. What about overseas and make Your boy, Omar Cook, made a hell of a living overseas. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Lance Stevenson. These, it, the bag is able to be made over there, tax free. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. Everybody, th- a lot of people, we grow up with the mindset that if it ain't the NBA, it ain't nothing. You can still play this game you love and, pre- and take care of your family in a great way mm-hmm. by going overseas. That's kind of like everybody how, can't play in the NBA, man. Mm-hmm. That's kind of yeah. like how DJing is. Like you know, every DJ, they they it's either Hot ninety seven or Power One Five. Yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. else. Is nothing like, else. If I ain't get there, I yeah. ain't make it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And there's other outlets that yeah, for sure. can go. Like mm-hmm. with him, I did. You know, I did. I, I, I was like an understudy for him doing uh, Sirius XM, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And he brought me there, and I made my staple there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's another avenue. It might not be the big people. I mean, new, I, what, what, what would I say? Local radio for, for it. For Sirius? No, Power. And that's local, like your new, you're not oh, like, like. Terrestrial, oh, I, they call it terrestrial radio. No, I'm just saying, no, far as, as a DJ, like you see how he said, like, yo, you know, playing overseas is cool, but I, everybody want to make the league. I'm talking mm-hmm. about like the league is kind of like how all New York DJs think, and then that, when, that power and in hot is yeah. when he opened the lane for me. He like nigga, like I'm putting you on a fucking national stage. Yeah, because th- he always, I think he still to this day, you just get a little mad that <laughs> I think so. Or oh, he might be over it now. What you understand? That that is like you know, like he he always wanted to be uh, okay, one hundred percent. All right, cool, one hundred percent. But mm-hmm. same thing, I feel. You know, sometimes certain things are for certain people because you never know what you would get into if you were doing certain things. And I think that a higher being sometimes give you what what you can handle or what you can deserve. Why I say that is because maybe you didn't make it into the NBA because something bad could have happened. For sure. You understand what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of times there's things that, you know, that might have, didn't go well for me in my life, and I don't never say, "Damn!" It's like maybe that wasn't for it wasn't me. For me, yeah. you know, I, you know, if if I'd have did certain things and made some money, I would have probably bought a car, a car that I never would have bought that got so much speed in it. Mm-hmm. Boom! Yeah, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I, I you understand what I'm saying? So you know, 
And I'm just using that as as an example. I was you a reckless him? guy at, at some at, at a certain point. Yeah. You know, as far as <laughs> no, not it, it's not nothing bad. I, I, I've I've changed a whole lot. You, yes, he has. <laughs> yes, he has. Yes, he has. Like he's the big. Brother. I'm surprised he didn't even want anything to drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, yeah, we've been talking know, like this I, for four years. And I've... <laughs> just speaking about being a great dad, what do you feel about Bronny's chances? Of being in the NBA, I mean, I think it's dope. Like, I wish my son would have came. He was supposed to come, but like, I feel like I messed it up for him by my mistakes. You get what messed I'm up for your son, yeah, mm-hmm. because my son is older than those guys. But like, my son should have been on that same platform, though. Like, Lenny Cook, Melo. Ron's son. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, my son played. He went to college and stuff and played, but he wasn't, it wasn't Lenny Cook's son, mm-hmm. the star. You get what I'm saying? Okay. It's just like, oh, yeah, that's Lenny Cook's son. We, he, 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 can, he can play. He can, you know what I mean? But he don't get that limelight like those guys, the Dewan Wagner Juniors, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Who's a great talent. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, uh, the Bronnies, um, the Cayenne, the Cayenne Anthony's. You know what I'm saying? Um, Great decision for him to leave. For sure, King. for sure, for sure. I think uh, Melo did the right thing by <laughs> snatching him up out of there. Yeah. Um, oh, why y'all say that? It was too much. It was, it, yeah, too yeah. Much. And uh-huh. he wouldn't get his shot. I he mean, wasn't. He wasn't getting the. He wasn't getting the shine like he should have. I mean, as a dad, would you would have did the same thing? For sure, absolutely. Especially when you promising my child something. Mm. Like you know what I mean? Don't be promising my child something and he's not getting that same time on the court that you promising me. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um. No, and basketball is confidence too. When you got is. your confidence up, it, it is. It, it is. It, 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 but you lose it, it get fuck your whole game up. I never had to go through that. Fast. You know what I mean? Because like I, when it came to that ninety four feet, I was a dog. Like I left it out there at all times. You know mm. what I mean? No matter the situation, like they can't take away. You remember the movie about the rim? Yes. All right. So remember when Flip Johnson? Uh, Bernie the, Mac, yeah. uh, the older and, guy, uh-huh. yeah, and, and, and a security guy, and Leon was like, yeah, and Bernie Mac was telling Leon like, yo, they can't replace what we had, like you can't replace what you've done, mm-hmm. like you can't take that away from me, like I was that nigga, mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like it goes, like I said, my image and everything else that came along with it is what fucked me up. Mm-hmm. So as a dad, it's like, damn, you want your son, you want your child to be mm-hmm. better than you, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So for you to promise me like my son's gonna be the star here and then it's not happening, it's like, man, all right, well, just like Bronny, just like LeBron said, like, it's one phone call. Man, I could take my son somewhere else. Like yeah. my son can go anywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he yeah. meant that shit. Yeah, you're like, nigga, this is this is the fight is fixed. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. I don't yeah. care. Like all I gotta do is make a phone call and he's there. Like, uh-huh. you know what I mean? Mind uh-huh. you, he's the only kid right now in the country that's not signed, like not committed to nobody. That's crazy. And it's only, and oh, what you got, mean by committed to nobody? Like, nobody knows no, what college no, he's no, going to. Like, going to? He's an all American senior, like yeah. he did work, and nobody knows what school he's going to or nothing. Like, <laughs> he's gonna wait till the day of school, college, to be like, yo, this is where I'm going. And that's where he's gonna go. Like, he can go to any con- any college in the country mm-hmm. because of his not, father. But the, not because of the talent. Because, because my dad can say, yo, this is where I want my son to go. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a lot of 